Hello and welcome back. As you can see, I have now completed the build to uh, my satisfaction. Um, apart from the small hiccup with the uh, underside of um, the hole not fitting correctly as you saw in uh, part one, um, I've rectified that situation. I took them off, managed to get them off, and I glue them, glued them to the lower side of the hole, and it makes it easier uh, to get get the kit together. Basically, uh, I haven't got the tracks on the back yet, as you can see. Um, I'm still waiting for those to dry up, but. I just wanted to get something on the shelf, so to speak, uh, video out. Um, the side skirts come in the kit. They are a very flimsy piece of plastic. And the holes are not all punched out correctly. Um, so some of them are torn. I tried to cut them out. So what I did, I'd done the uh, normal thing with, uh, with tanks that have side skirts. We've missed a few off. Uh, the decals were old and uh, fell apart. Um, I did have some uh, decal stuff to prevent that, but I couldn't find it. Yeah, so I've, I've got it here somewhere and I, I just don't know what I've done with it. Uh, there's very little weathering on the, the model. Um, I, I didn't want to go overboard with it. So yeah, that's it. Panther Alfs A, Italy, 1944. Uh, dragon kit, 135. So, goes together reasonably well. It's just uh, a little hiccups for me in the in the build. I will complete it to a better standard, but. For me, this is done. And I shall be moving on to the next build, which will be the um, M8 Greyhound for Marcus and Joachim's Recon Group build. Looking forward to that one. Been wanting to do a Greyhound for a long time. And now I've got the chance to do one. So thank you all to my new subscribers and my old subscribers. Bye for now.